Hello guys, this is Death Dealer. Welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Today what we have is how to make a resource pack for Minecraft versions 1.8 and up. Now, this only works for Windows machines, the method I will show you, but you can adapt it to other machines such as Mac and Linux, but a few things may be different. Anyway, to start, what you want to do is you want to navigate to your Minecraft folder. So, in our case, what we're going to do is go to type in percent app data percent, and then we have a dot Minecraft folder there. Okay, then you navigate to the resource packs, which is here, and you see I've already made a pack. We're going to do right click, new folder, and we'll just call it tutorial okay go into that and what we want to do is we need to set up a few things so what we're going to do is we set up a new text document and we'll just leave it as that now what we're going to do is you want to enter this command well these this lines of code exactly like this you can put it all in one line it will work but this is the way I've done it. Now, I think to take note of this here pack format, you know, one and you can put in two, one works for any versions below 1.9, two works for any versions above. So we're going to do it for 1.9, so we're going to set that to two. And we'll say the description of the pack as tutorial. Okay. Now what we're going to do is what save as, and instead of setting it as a text document, we're going to call it pack.mcmeta. Save. And then you can close it and delete the original. Now this is the main file you will need to get your pack working. Now this part is optional, but you may want to set a an image so it has to be a PNG file so I'm going to use that one in fact I'll just copy it over just so I have two copies of it okay that's sorted now for the final step you want all your textures and everything related to the game files now what you want to do is you want to try and get access to the versions folder and for whatever version you're using, we're using 1.9.4 for this instance. We want to navigate to that given folder and then to the jar file. Now, there's ways to get access to it. I'm going to use WinRAR. And there you go. Now, we want to get access to this file, Assets. Now, if we navigate back to our tutorial pack and then it's just a case of copying it over. I'll put a link to the WinRAR site down in the description so if you want to download it make sure you hit that up. I use it and it works perfectly. Okay so now that that's done we want to go in and let's add a few things say for example hmm, with text and then the splashes, this is what comes up at the beginning of the screen. Well, the Minecraft home screen, we'll just call it that. And we'll remove that and say, oh, what should we put? Um, what should we put? What would I say? Made by Death Dealer. Save it, close, and that should be it. You can edit everything else as you want, but that's just an example. And now it's time to load up Minecraft and see if it's working. Okay guys, so we have our Minecraft instance up and running. We're using Minecraft 1.9.4 as said before. Now, I hope you know how to get resource packs up, but I'm going to show you anyway. Just navigate to where it is and there it is. 
As you can see, it's got the same things we set it as earlier. Click done, give it a little minute. Depending on what your PC is, or your station, it may take a little bit longer. And here it is. But as you notice, our splash here hasn't updated, so you may want to go into a game. But it doesn't matter if it's single player or multiplayer. And you can see, there you go, we have it. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, and if you really enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.